guys, happy Friday. Happy Molly Pearl weekend. It is 10 o'clock. I did not just get up, but can we please talk about this hair that I woke up with? I mean, it totally looks like I did it, doesn't it? I slept on it, actually, for like 10 hours. No, not 10 hours. Maybe seven hours. I don't know. Let's check my Fitbit. Okay. So I should probably not be listening to Nicki Minaj right now because it's going to make me very, very sassy. I just had a phone call with customer service for this order that I placed. Okay. So we're going to rant a little bit at the beginning of this vlog and I promise I'll get all my sass out of the way for this vlog. Maybe. Um, okay. So I ordered something that was on back order. I ordered it on March 18th and they said I would have it shipped out by April 19th. Today is April 20th. Nothing. So I call and I'm like, bro, what up, yo? You know, it's it's been a month and I understand that stuff happens and uh, I'd like to be in the loop. That would help, right? So the guy's like, ma'am, this is a very exclusive product. And we had issues sending it from Italy to the US. There was a week delay. Now it's stuck in customs. And after it's out of customs, we have to send it to our US warehouse, process it for shipping, charge your credit card, and then send it out to you. So you'll get it within the next three to four weeks. Uh, remember I ordered it on the 18th. It should have shipped out by the 19th. Now they're telling me an additional three to four weeks, which essentially is double the amount of time that it was supposed to take to arrive, right? It's two months. And I was like, well, this isn't like a $2 cell phone case from Japan, right? So I was like, so were you guys gonna tell me this or was I supposed to call and find out on my own that I was gonna get it a whole month later? Like what if I was planning on taking this to, I don't know, Florida in June? Is it even gonna arrive in time? So I told them, I said, you know what? I shop from your brand a lot and I've never experienced this kind of customer service and it's kind of disappointing. I said, can I just cancel the product? He's like, oh, canceling is always an option, but you're number two on a list of 72. So let me just tell you that if you cancel this, you can't call back and change your mind. Ooh, uh, are you trying to fight me or? <laughs> After he said that, I was like, listen, homie, I don't want it that much. <laughs> We're good. What the heck, Zachariah, by the way? <laughs> that was crazy. I was like, are you, are you seriously sassing me right now? Because I get enough of that during the week from two little boys and you're a full grown man and this isn't even your brand. What is happening here? What is happening people? It's Earth Day, be nice to me. <laughs> All right y'all, so it is 10 o'clock. Uh, at 11.30 I have my third laser hair removal appointment at Ideal Image, so I'm not looking forward to that. <laughs> no, I'm totally kidding. I am looking forward to it. I love that my armpits aren't like shaded anymore. That alone for me, I was telling my friend Sam the other day, I'm like, you know, it hasn't like saved me any time or like saved me money on razors because it's my underarms. Like how big are your underarms? Two square inches? Ain't that big of a deal, right? But when I lift my arms up, they're not gray anymore. You know that like shading of like where the hair is. It's like a five o'clock shadow for your pits. We don't have that anymore. So I'm like uh, winning at life. So that's at 11.30. Um, and then tonight I have dinner plans looking so forward to that. So um, it's actually a first date. Uh, kind of excited actually. Um, this is a guy that I matched with on Bumble like a year ago <laughs> but we lost um we lost touch and then we just reconnected again last week when Sam was here so I'm excited you know I just love meeting new people let's let's be honest I don't hold my breath when I have a date you guys I go in with zero expectations I meet someone and I usually end up remaining friends with them so I'm looking forward to that um and then tomorrow I was supposed to do a vintage makeover or rather receive one from my friend Rosie so I don't know if you guys follow these girls 
I can't tell you, like, these are like real life precious moments dolls. Um, so Lupe and Rosie are twins. Um, Rosie has a vintage type YouTube channel. And so these twins are two of the most beautiful, amazing girls I've ever met. Beautiful hearts. I think that's probably why they're even much more beautiful than when you see them in person. They're just great humans. And so Rosie was like, hey, can I put you on my channel and do like a vintage makeover on you? Vintage clothes, vintage hair, vintage makeup, whatever. I'm like, uh, yeah, please do. How fun does that sound? So we were supposed to do that tomorrow, but Dallas springtime is like, surprise, today is hail, tomorrow is a tornado, and the day after that we're having snow. So tomorrow the weather's supposed to be awful. And I was like, dude, I don't care. Let's reschedule. I'll be, I'm available to you. You let me know when you want to do this and we'll do it. So that's what I was supposed to do tomorrow. I don't think it's happening. Um, it's just gonna be a weekend of, I don't know what's happening, but you're coming along. For example, right now, I need to make my bed. I need to get ready for this laser appointment. And you know what I was gonna do is I was gonna shower, get ready, and just be like semi-ready for my date tonight and just do my makeup later. But I was like, well, I could totally get away with going to the laser appointment with this hair, right? Like, couldn't I? Could I? So I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my laser hair removal appointment, come back, swing by to Target, and get my grocery shopping done and out of the way. So, what was that? <laughs> get my grocery shopping done and out of the way. I could also go to the healthy grocery store, which is not close by since, I mean, I don't have anything else to do. Uh, and then come home and get ready for my date. My date's at seven, so I'm excited about that. Uh, but yeah. That's it. So I got a Fitbit. Okay, you guys, let's talk about something for a second. You know, I'm 33 and I didn't experience the joy of real friendships until my 30s or maybe late 20s. My first real friendship ever where I realized what a real friend was, was when I met Sam. After meeting Sam, I realized what having a real friend is like. So I became very discerning with the people that I allow into my home and into my heart. So now that I'm older, the friendships that I've made are real friendships like Vero and Nusha. So we're having a girls weekend last weekend and Nusha's wearing this really beautiful bracelet and Sam's like, what is that? And I, I had noticed it before because it looked like a bangle but with like a little cage. And I was like, that looks suspect like it is something, something, not just a cute bangle. Turns out it's a Fitbit. And I'm not even lying, you guys, in like 48 hours, Sam and I both got a Fitbit. Same thing, Nusha had like these beautiful white nails. And we're like, oh my God, your Manny is so pretty. 48 hours later, Sam and I both have white nails. And so I find myself doing these things that I would just assume little girls do with their friends, you know, when they're in middle school or whatever. And it just feels great. It's kind of fun. And so now we have like this group thread of like what we're gonna buy or what we're gonna match. And so last night I went out to dinner, and my phone kept vibrating and I was like, oh my gosh. Being a mom, I'm always on, right? So my phone's vibrating. I'm like, I'm sorry, I need to check my phone because it might be my son's dad, right? And it's these girls having this full on conversation. Do you guys know how hard it is to catch up on a message thread? Anyway, so we ended up buying some accessories for our Fitbit. I didn't realize how freaking active I was all day when my mom's like, my mom used to always tease me like, how are you so skinny? You probably don't eat. And then she sees how much I eat. But when she comes to stay with me for a few days, she's like, do you ever stop? So now that I have a Fitbit, I can actually track it. And spending time with the boys, jumping on the trampoline. You guys, I'm bringing in like 10,000 steps a day. Apparently, I walk five to six miles a day in my own home. Like what the, who does that, squirrel? <laughs> anyway, this conversation is long enough. I hope it was interesting for you guys. First of all, Zachariah, you're on my, you're on my list. You're on my list, Zachariah. Uh, I didn't want that belt anyway. And then uh, we gotta go. Like, thank you for giving me 10 minutes of your time for a lot of useless information. As per usual, I'll see you later. What's up, you guys wanna dance? Yeah? Oh man, give me a little turn. Ready? Ready? Yeah, that's right, my little ballerina. Hey, what about you? No, huh? Not happening? 
Hey you guys, 11 o'clock. We are heading out the door with my dirty hair. Does it look that bad, you guys? Be honest. Um, We're gonna go get our laser hair removal at Ideal Image, and then we're gonna go to Target grocery shopping. I'm totally not gonna vlog at Target, by the way, because you don't need to see the type of groceries I buy. They're kind of boring. Actually, maybe at Sprouts. Sprouts is the only semi-nearby good grocery store. Why are we having this conversation? You guys can give me like a random topic, like how crabs walk sideways, and I will figure out a way to make this conversation 30 minutes, let's be honest. Okay, outfit of the day, nothing special. Um, do I really wanna show you? Um, all right, we have this black cardigan, nothing special. I think this is from Anthropology. it's years old. Um, I just really like how it hangs. You see these little I don't know, it's super warm. It's actually really cold outside. This um, camo t-shirt with this little detail here is from Target. Um, and then these jeans are from Macy's. These are actually regular price right now, which is kind of annoying because they're 50 bucks, but I bought them for $19.99. They were on sale. Um, so I think Macy's is one of those retailers like Kohl's where things just fluctuate in price way too often. So just drop things in your cart. Make sure you log in every so often so they don't clear your cart and uh, buy them when they're on sale. And then these shoes. These are actually my newest find from Tory Burch. They are espadrilles with like a patent toe. But I think I was sold because of the little ankle strap they have. You guys, I have like the skinniest ankles ever. So whenever there's a shoe with an ankle strap, it's like totally my jam. So yeah, that's it, 11 o'clock, let's go. Guys, the nurse is totally not cool with me filming. So we're gonna try and be sneaky about it. She was like, oh, you're filming? I need to verify. It's 11.30, I actually got to my appointment about 10 minutes early and they took me 10 minutes early and I'm out three minutes after my appointment time, which is great. It's such an easy process, you guys. Like I told you before, this isn't sponsored content. Um, they do do the laser treatment on me complimentary as long as I share my experience with you guys. It's always kind of like a weird experience because I've gotten a new nurse every single time I get the treatment done, which has been a total of three times already. And they don't, they aren't told that I'm gonna vlog it. So whenever I say, oh, I'm gonna film this, let me just put my camera up, they're like, and this is the first time that the nurse was like, I'm not so sure about that. I need to double check, you know, and she had to leave the room and go ask. So I guess it would be a little less awkward for both of us if they were like, by the way, this person's coming in and they're going to vlog, um, as opposed to having that like weird moment of you're being creepy. <laughs> <laughs> no one likes to feel like a creeper, y'all. But um, I've had a really great experience. I've had three treatments done. I think it's a total of eight for my underarms. Um, and I'm already down to like 20% like of underarm hair. Um, so that's really exciting. I'm definitely looking into getting my bikini line or my bikini zone done and my legs. I'm just a little like hesitant because I have way too much leg. Could you imagine? I have like four or five feet of leg that they would need to do. I would be in there for like an hour. Oh, plus the smell, you guys. It actually wasn't very painful today. I did notice they increased um, the intensity of the laser this time. So it's like, oh, whoa, oh, all right, we're there. Can you buy me dinner first? <laughs> it's so cool when I wear tank tops because you don't see that like gray shading anymore, which is kind of nice when you have really dark black hair, right? Um, anyway, we are done here. We're gonna head over to the grocery store and get some groceries done and we'll zoom back home um, and just figure out our day. I think I might be able to film one video today uh, before I have my dinner plans later tonight. So looking forward to uh, doing that. I just I love to feel productive but on days like today where I don't have a really set plan I'm like how can I optimize my time and I'm like Danny can you just relax for a second anyway so if you guys are interested in checking out ideal image there's a ton 
ton of ideal images all over the US. So I will leave a link in the description box below if you guys wanted more information. Like I said, y'all, not sponsored, but uh, kinda like having my underarms zapped by them, just being honest. Hey, you guys, 6.30. Um, I just finished doing my makeup and I wanted to share it with you guys. Um, hello, isn't that amazing? I just did a whole weird combination of eyeshadows. I was like, eh, I'll just grab a little of this, a little of that, figure it out. But this is my current favorite lip color. I wore it in basically all my Sam videos. It's Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk Liner with um, Ulta's Transforming Lip Gloss, Robots in Disguise, in uh, Ethereal. Isn't that amazing? It makes your lips look like crazy. The glitter in this lip gloss is actually holographic. It's not just a regular like gold or champagne shimmer. I am standing here in my underwear, cochinas, um, because I don't know what to wear. I am completely overthinking this, and I don't know what to wear, and I'm struggling, and I'm getting nervous, and I'm, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. What's happening over there? Ooh, drama in the hizzy. Yeah, I don't know what to do, you guys. I just wanted to show you guys my makeup, but when I figure out what I'm gonna wear, um, I'll share it with you guys. All right, you guys, we figured it out in the nick of time. Um, these earrings. Can we just take a second to admire? <laughs> The beauty of these earrings, the tassel earrings from Bobble Bar are my entire life. I wish I could remember to change my earrings more often, but usually I get ready so close to the time I need to leave that I completely forget and I just leave my studs in. But I actually just ordered some similar to these. They're a little chunkier, but they're like a really, really pale lavender. <gasps> Dying to use those. I'm going to use my little clutch that my mom brought me back from Mexico. So I'm excited about that because it kind of has a little tassel thing going on. And I just went with all black. When in doubt, when I can't come up with something, I just do all black. So let me show you guys. All right, so I'm doing an off-the-shoulder, just black, um shirt i don't even know i mean this shirt is probably like five years old it's from shoreline boutique one of the very first um pr packages that i got ever when i had my youtube channel and then uh these like little motocross type skinny jeans you can see the little ribbing detail these are hudson and then i just have some simple patterned um jessica simpson sandals from dsw so there is the complete look very simple right i think it's really cool when you wear all black because you can go ahead and have lots of fun with all your accessories anyway it's almost seven o'clock i am not going to bring you guys along because this is a first date um but i will let you guys know how it goes Maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow. Watching like an hour, I'm like, you guys. Or tomorrow morning, I'm gonna be like, you guys. <laughs> anyway, I feel good about this. Wish me luck, and I love you guys. Hey, you guys. 9.30. So, uh, do we wanna talk about why I'm home at 9.30 already? After our first date that started at like eight o'clock. Y'all, there's only so much of this I can take, okay? <laughs> so, I was told I would get picked up around 7-ish because we had reservations at 7.30. So 7.22 comes along and I text Sam and I'm like, Sam, should I start to worry because <laughs> it's already 7.22? So, uh, he shows up about 7.30? And then we went to this restaurant called Crudo, uh, which was actually quite delicious, but it's one of those restaurants with an open kitchen. So now I smell like fire, like a wood fired oven. <laughs> um, it's 9.30 and I'm home. If you hear really loud crunching, it's Ernesta chewing on her anxiety bone. I'm transferring my anxiety after <laughs> my frustration and my waste of makeup and waste of cute outfit and amazing tassel earrings. I don't know what, I don't know what, I don't know what to think. I think we both think it was a good date, but is it a good date if it ends so early? I'm used to having like six hour dates. <laughs> <laughs> like that's how I'm like wow this date is so good and we're like okay we just can't call it a night here let's go somewhere else you know but people have prior obligations and I think I might be spoiled when it comes down to like social engagements 
I'm spoiled in the sense of like prolonging or like extending the length of, of an outing or whatever. Um, people have stuff to do. So anyway, it was, uh, it's a little bizarre, I guess. <laughs> I'm like, it's 930. What do I do? Do I like, do I, what, should I call just Justin? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, do I call an Uber and just go sit at a restaurant and, and have a good time? Like it's Friday and I have like a lot of makeup on or should I get some work done? That's probably a better idea. I don't know y'all. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I told you guys I would check in after my date. Uh, so there's that. <laughs> am I going to sleep or am I gonna catch up on my DVR? I don't, <laughs> I'm very confused. I'm very confused. Hey you guys, happy Saturday. It's nine o'clock. Um, I got up at 7.30 today um, and I called Sam immediately. I was like, I'm sorry, it's seven o'clock. Why haven't you called me? She usually calls me Saturday mornings. <laughs> I sound so silly right now. She usually FaceTimes me Saturday mornings and she was like, okay, how was your week? How was your Friday night? <laughs> um, look at my tank top, you guys. Check this out. Those are pandas, okay? Um, anyway, um, she usually texts in on me on Saturdays. I was like, why haven't you called me? She's like, because it's 7 o'clock. You usually don't get up until like 7.30 or 8. I was like, well, but, but you're Sam. We posted our vlog together this morning. Does that mean nothing to you? <laughs> okay, so. Uh, last night was a buzzkill. I went to bed after I checked in with you guys. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go wash my face, throw on a sheet mask, and call it a night. This is why my face is so shiny. So right now I'm gonna edit a video, which is usually what I do during the week. Um, but I just, I'm just gonna do it right now, just to, to be efficient. Uh, but I don't know what we're gonna do besides film and hang out with Hilda later. It's gonna be a pretty comfortable Saturday. I have a feeling it's gonna be a pretty comfortable Saturday. Okay, so yesterday, my tassel earrings, I was like, why don't I wear these tassel earrings every day? So I actually got a set of three. I have to warn you, what you are about to see might cause you some emotional distress because as you know, I live my life in a very organized and controlled fashion, but this drawer might appall you. Please do not let the condition of this drawer affect the way you feel about me, okay? All right. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> okay, this is where I keep my jewelry. Well, not like my jewelry. This is more fun stuff, not the nice stuff. So I was like, I have some tassel earrings somewhere. Duh, here they are. I got these around the holidays from Bobble Bar. They come in this beautiful box. <laughs> I promised they were in here yesterday, but I left in a hurry, okay? So it's a set of three. Aren't they the best? They have every single color of the rainbow. And the reason I like them is because, check this out. They're like the best quality tassel earrings I've ever seen in my life. And so they're actually very lightweight. They're not heavy. So they're big statement pieces without being heavy and uncomfortable. So there's those. I actually found these yesterday too. These are also from the holidays. So I'm like, oh, I need an excuse to wear these. And then I got these randomly at my PO box. These are a little bit heavier though. Aren't those pretty? I think the reason I like tassel earrings is because they give you the liberty to wear them um, in a way that's comfortable for you. So let's say you don't have a long giraffe neck like I do and you can pull off like the four, the four layer tassel. You can actually go in here and do some DIY maneuvering. Do you see the little link? And remove the tassel, like one of the sections and then they become kind of like your own personal size. So I thought that was pretty useful. I know a lot of people see this and they're like, oh, they're just way too long. Uh-uh, girl, don't limit yourself. So those are, this is my drawer where apparently I keep lots of, of bandanas. Uh, why do I have bandanas is a bigger question. Oh, look, here's another one. Why do I have bandanas? Do, have I ever worn a bandana? I mean, really? Oh, I wore these in a, I wore these in a vlog. Too. These are also bobble bar. A little bit heavier, but I love the yellow. And you can tell it's that same, like, very fine thread. Here's another tassel earring. Apparently, I had a thing for tassels, even though I've worn them. Oh, let me tell you, you guys, the things we do. These, I am 
I bought these with the total intent of wearing them like every day of my life. Look how beautiful they are. But every time I think it's a good idea to wear them, I put them on and I feel like they look like little phantoms, like little ghosts. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know you guys maybe it's just because it's not summertime yet I think in the summer with like a really beautiful summer dress and some wedges they would look amazing but for right now it's like ooh, happy Halloween <laughs> one of the perks of getting teased my entire life uh, growing up was that I learned to make fun of myself <laughs> and I actually like realized I was like I'm kind of funny. I can I can be okay with this. I'm a little funny, you know? So now it's like when you beat someone to teeth, when you beat someone to the punch of like making fun of yourself, it's like, is it even fun for them anymore? Probably not. And then in turn, what happens? You make them laugh and then they're like, okay, maybe I don't want to tease her anymore. <laughs> Hopefully. Is that how it works? That's how I feel like it works. Okay, you guys? Um. Anyway, so I'm going to go edit that video and I'll check in with you guys later. I don't know, I don't know what's happening, you guys, today. I wanna do something, because yesterday was a total wash, but, um, uh, what was I gonna tell you? Uh, today's weather is supposed to be heinous, like horrible torrential, torrential downpour, like the sky right now is black. It looks like it's brewing, so maybe not a good idea to head out. Um, I did wanna tell you guys, though, uh, my armpits are nice. <laughs> They're not blistering or bubbling or uh, sore or red. I know one of the um, things to look out for the next day, which is common and normal and to be expected, is that they get like you little get little red bumps um, from the laser. I never that never happens to me. I, you guys, I have rhino skin. Like nothing happens to my skin um, except for like easy bruising. But I think that's because of my anemia. Um, so yeah, my armpits are fine. They don't even feel weird or anything. So like, just that's an armpit check-in. <laughs> hey you guys, happy Sunday. It's 10 o'clock. Um, I didn't vlog last night because everything just happened so quickly. So yesterday, I just was home all day. All day long home. I didn't leave at all once. And then uh, in the evening, I was supposed to have like a girl's night in with my friend Hilda, um, but I was talking to one of my neighbors and uh, he's like, you know what? I just had a few races. I'm really tired, but I'm getting a second win. Let's just go out and have a drink. And I was like, oh, well, you already, I already have plans with my girlfriend, unless you don't mind her tagging along. He's like, uh, let's. So we ended up at um, 54th Street. It's this restaurant. It's kind of like a BJ's or I don't know, like a more casual cheesecake factory, like one of those family restaurants that also has a bar. Um, and so we ended up there. Uh, we ate just the worst bar food ever. And I don't mean the worst as in it was gross. I mean, as in it was the best. <laughs> um, and then we went to Concrete Cowboy. Yes, I ended up at Dude Bro City. It was one of those nights where I felt like I was sowing my wild oats. I felt like I was 20 again. Um, it was so much fun. So the three of us, the three musketeers, Hilda was like, we're all besties now. It was just, it was so much fun. So drinks, concrete cowboy, lots of Ubering. Uh, I actually had one of those nights where I was like, you know, I'm gonna be safe and I always do this like I I try to think ahead like where am I going? Uh, is there a possibility that I'll have more than one drink then I'll Lyft or uber anywhere I go It could be downtown and I'll have to pay $80 one way, but I'd rather do that than career suicide, right? <laughs> so um, I thought all right, we're just gonna lift an uber everywhere just in case um, and after the week I've had you guys and a couple of failed dates. I was like, you know, we're definitely gonna need a Lyft driver. I was totally fine all night. I don't know. I was talking to Sam about it and I was like, I just feel like my body just refused to get a buzz, which was kind of good. I was like, hmm, this is weird. Maybe it's like my rational adult adulting side coming to play. But it was a good feeling because this morning I feel fine. You know, it's 10 o'clock, I'm great. I'm like, ooh, I'm starving. Let's eat some soup. Do you guys ever have soup for breakfast? I think this is one of my guilty pleasures. I will eat breakfast food all day long. It doesn't feel weird to me because breakfast, right? But soup, I feel like I'm like doing something weird, like I'm breaking a rule, like I'm gonna have soup for breakfast. <laughs> but it just sounds so delicious. 
So that's uh, the plan for today is um, I'm gonna have soup for breakfast. Let me show you the burn. What, what were you doing? Oh, you did something naughty. What was it? What did you do? Oh, that's the walk of shame. So this is uh, the P.O. Box situation. It's not that many, but y'all know I talk for hours with stuff. Seriously, what'd you do, bro? What did you do? Ernesta, look at mommy. Mern, did you do something naughty? Mern, look at me. ¿Qué hiciste? ¿Te portaste mal? Did you do something bad? Huh, naughty girl? What'd you do? Anyway, that's the status of my life. 10 o'clock, soup for breakfast, living my best life, uh, and I'll catch you later. p.m. Uh, I'm heading to bed uh, in about an hour, but I wanted to uh, sign off on this vlog. This is basically the shortest vlog we've had on this channel. <laughs> I haven't done much today except kind of busy work at home, uh, washing the dishes, doing laundry, um, catching up on my DVR, answering email. Really nothing major. Um, I think the biggest or the most exciting thing that I did today, besides air dry my hair and discover a new hair product that is totally going to be in my What Is This Sorcery series next month. I guess the most important thing or the most fun or the funnest thing that I did today was uh, play around with more sunscreens. So um, next week. I don't know when you're going to see this vlog, but in the next few days or next week, I'm going to have my new um, Ulta Beauty skin fatuation trend, skincare trend. And it's going to be all about sun protection. Um, and so for the last few weeks, I've been playing around with uh, the sunscreens that they selected. Um, and you guys know with sunscreens, it's one of those things where education uh, is very important so that you're able to make the right choice as to which sunscreen would be good for you and your lifestyle. But it's also one of those things that there's so much literature involved that you get very confused. So for the last few weeks, I've been playing around with six different sunscreens and all of them have a very important purpose. So we're going to talk about that in a upcoming video. But other than that, that is all for this weekend. So um, anything that you see in this vlog, holy, I don't know how I have the nerve to vlog for you guys when I look like this. But you know what? You guys love me. And this is what I actually look like sometimes. It just happens. Um, anyway, I'm actually super excited about May. May is going to be a busy month. <gasps> okay, you guys, I had to cut that part out because that was the longest yawn I've done in a long time. <laughs> so, okay, next week is going to be exciting because on Friday is um, a uh, movie like a movie premiere party and dinner uh, with the new Kevin Aquan film. So I'm super excited about that, but I have to find a date. I have like five days to find a date. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it. That's next week. And then we're gonna do um, the vintage makeover or rather Rosie's gonna do the vintage makeover on me. I told you guys, I think at the beginning of this vlog that I was gonna do that this weekend, but the rain got in the way. So yeah, we're gonna do that next week. And then May is gonna be super exciting. It's gonna be very busy. Um, I'm going back home to San Diego. Um, I'm going to go to Six Flags. Uh, what else? Ugh, it's just going to be crazy. Oh, I'm going to get my results, my um, iron malabsorption results to see if I have to continue doing the iron chemo treatments or if I'm good for now. I actually feel great. Um, so I'm fingers crossed that everything is working the way it's supposed to. So I have those appointments. Um, it'll be like uh, two follow-up appointments and then I'll know for sure. Um, what else? May's gonna be pretty bonkers. Oh, the biggest part of May, you guys. May is actually our five year anniversary on YouTube and we're gonna do a very special celebration for an entire week on my channel. Uh, you'll probably wanna pay really close attention to our celebration week. Um, but other than that, 
y'all know the drill. Anything that you see in this video, uh, anything that I'm wearing, anything that I could possibly list and link for you will be listed in the description box below. If I forget something or if I miss it, leave me a comment. I'm usually pretty good at catching those comments when you're like, oh, you forgot to link your sunglasses. Can you hook me up? I'm like, I got you, girl. So usually I'm pretty good at reading those comments. So if I miss something, let me know. But other than that, that is it for this weekend. My apologies for this, but can we talk about how soft and smooth my hair actually looks? So my hair is bleached right now and it's been looking a little crispy and dry and limp, but my girl Katie at Abstract Studio hooked me up with this product that is ugh, amazing. Anyway, that's it. El que mucho se despide, right? I love you guys so much. And you know what to do. If you found this video useful, entertaining, and learned something, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye, guys.